everyone, my name is Dr. Connie. I'm the founder of Functional Yoga Medicine. You're here in my YouTube channel. It's Dr. Connie Chung. And I love everything yoga. I utilize yoga as a tool to bridge the gap between functional medicine, physical therapy, and nutrition. All my knowledge base into the yoga practice because yoga is the ultimate nervous system regulator. Today, I wanna to focus on your alignment. Alignment matters because Mel alignment, because your body will always go in the path of least resistance. I see this over and over in your class. And as a physical therapist for over 25 years, I keep having to correct the repetitive injuries, okay? So I want you to really be sound in your body, get into your body and your nervous system structures, understand the alignment, understand too that yoga is really a nuanced practice. You have growth occurring on your mat over the course of your lifetime. That's why I love it so much. You're gonna to come to the top of your mat and just settle. Place your arms down by your side. Gently bend your knees and then lift your toes up, which is going to create an arch activation at the bottom of your feet. And then gently lower the tops of your, or bottoms of your toes down onto the mat. You're almost gripping the mat. Keep your eyes closed and then shift your body slightly forward. Shift it back. Notice the gripping of your toes as you shift forward. And then settle down as you oscillate between forward and back, side to side. And just notice where do you try or where do you tend to hold your weight? Is it at the heels of your feet or base of your toes? More on the right, more on the left. These are the little things that I want you to bring into your practice to really connect the mind to your body. So we're gonna inhale up as you gaze up. Dristi, your gaze point matters. Bend your knees and float your arms down. Easy spine. Looking between your shin. Inhale, pull up, keeping a slight bend in the knee. Palms flat. Really mount your hands down as you take the right foot back. Left foot back, you're high on your toes. And if you feel like you're drooping, please press the mat away actively. I like to have you shift forward a little bit. And if this is too much, lower your knees and graze the sides of your ribs with your elbows as you go down. Push down to lift up, engaging your core, navel to the spine, shift your hips back, tuck your toes, lift your hips. Keep your heels up high, exhale, lower the right heel. Inhale, both heels up. Exhale, lower the left heel, bend your right knee. Both heels up, sink both heels down. It's your first downward dog. Be gentle with yourselves. Bring attention to your hands. Plug your shoulder blades down the rib cage. So your ears shouldn't mount towards the ears like this, but I want you to pull them down. And then I want you to wrap the biceps forward, triceps back. Really engage your fingertips to push actively the floor or your mat away. Exhale deep, bend your knees a lot, gaze forward. On the in-breath, take the right foot forward and left. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Draping your spine down, tailbone straight up. Root down through your feet as you roll your spine up nice and tall. Inhale your arms up again, warming up our body. Exhale, fold forward, palms to the mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, palms flat. This time, left foot back, right foot back. Press forward onto your high toes. Plug the navel to the spine. Lower down again, grazing the sides of your ribs with your elbows. Push down to lift up strong on the top of your toes. You're gonna shift back this time, but never ever change the position of your feet. There's a lot of walk-ups from plank into downward dog. I want you to keep it long from plank into downward dog. And if you have hamstring, low back issues, bend your knees a lot, shoot your tailbone straight up towards the ceiling, push the floor away, energetically pull the biceps forward, triceps back, engaging through the shoulder blades, engaging through the core, tailbone straight up. Inhale and exhale, bend your knees a lot, gaze forward, right foot forward, left foot forward. Inhale, lift, gaze forward, exhale, fold. Root down through your feet, lift your arms up, reach up, 
Bring your hands to heart center. Rest your arms down by your side, mountain pose. Last one, inhale up. Exhale, fold, palms to the mat. Inhale, lift, gaze forward, palms flat. This time I'm gonna jump back, or you can step it back, lower down chaturanga. Push down to lift, gaze up, tuck your toes, lift your hips. Downward dog, deep breath in. Deep breath out, really I want you to roll your hips, spiral them in, elbows in. Hands are exactly shoulder width apart, they're not wide. Feet shoulder width apart, exhale, bend your knees a lot. And inhale, jump your feet forward, inhale, lift. Exhale, fold, root down to lift. Bring your hands to heart center. Silence your mind and check in with yourselves. Inhale, lift, sink your hips, tuck your tailbone, engage the lower abdominals. When you look down, knees should be behind your toes. Exhale, drape your spine down. Inhale, lift, gaze forward. This is Suri B. Right foot back, left foot back, shift it forward, lower down slow. Push down to lift, tuck, lift, downward dog. Right leg up high, toes pointed, bringing the right knee up to your chest. Engage, 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 shift the weight onto your hands, high on your left toes. Place the right foot down between your hands. Turn your back heel in, root down through the right foot. Come forward, strong into warrior one. Exhale, hands down. Right foot back, shift forward, lower down. Push down to lift, tuck your toes, lift your hips. Downward dog, left toes up. Left knee up to your chest first, then shift your weight onto your hands, pull up. Place that foot down, turn your back heel in. Take your time, tap on the left toes, aligned with the ankle to the knee. Plug the navel to the spine. Come all the way up. This is alignment flow. Want you to really focus on your alignment. Exhale down. Engaging the proper muscles. Left foot back. Shift forward. Lower down slow. Push down to lift. Gaze up. Tuck your toes. Lift your hips. Downward dog. Deep breath in. And deep breath out, really sinking in. So here's the thing. See if you can take the tailbone straight up as if there is a hot air balloon taking your bum all the way up to the ceiling. You're grounding towards the floor with your heels, pushing actively and rooting down through the palms of your hands into the fingertips. And then drawing the rib cages in, there's a slight, what we call a protraction, rounding between the shoulder blades. All while taking the tailbone up, it's an anterior tilt of your pelvis. And your rib cages are gonna wanna pop out, but you're gonna draw them in. There's this polarity you're creating in the body. Exhale, bend your knees a lot, gaze forward, right foot forward and left. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold, sink your hips. Make sure the knees are staying behind your toes. Lift those toes up. Raise your arms up using those legs. Reach up, press down, reach. Hands to heart center. Mountain pose. One more, Suri Namaskar B. Inhale, lift, sink your hips. Tuck your tailbone, gaze up. Exhale, fold forward from the hips all the way down as you straighten your knees, palms to the mat. Inhale, lift, gaze forward, right foot back, left foot back. I want you to shift forward, 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 drawing the navel to the spine. Lower the elbows down. Push down to lift, gaze up. Tuck your toes, lift your hips. Downward dog, this time mind your pelvis. Keep it square, meaning the right hip, front of the hip stays down. You're not open but you're keeping it square, pelvis square. Reach long with through the right toes. Bring the right knee up to your chest. Really plug that thigh, front thigh, right thigh into the chest. And once you're shifted onto your hands, then and only then, place the right foot down 
and there is a 90 degree bend in the knee. Turn your back heel in, really minding our alignment, and then gaze forward, root down through the right foot, plug down, root down as you reach up. Exhale, hands on the mat, right foot back. Listen, high on your toes, shift forward, graze the sides of your ribs with your elbows. Push down to lift, gaze up, tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward dog. Left toes back, lift, reach back, left knee up to your chest, shift, shift, shift forward, place the left foot down, turn your back heel in, root down through the left foot, come all the way up, gaze up, bring your hands on either side of the left foot, press the left foot back, shift forward, lower down slow, push down to lift, tuck your hips, lift, Downward dog, checking our downward dog, bending your knees a lot, taking the tailbone up. And then when you do that, you have a tendency to sink into your shoulders, but you're gonna round that space between your shoulder blades, but then that's gonna create this posterior tilt in your pelvis. So that's where you have to sort of gain that balance and push and pull. Drawing the ribs in, which creates a little bit of a round between your shoulder blades while managing to take the tailbone up which is tilting your pelvis anteriorly deep breath in it's gonna feel almost impossible but this is you training your body to move the way you want so this is super important bend your knees gaze forward inhale right foot left foot inhale lift Exhale, fold, sink your hips, keeping the knees behind your toes, lifting those toes, rooting down, lift, come all the way to standing, hands to heart center, arms down by your side. Stepping out with the left foot, keeping the right foot parallel to the side edge of the mat. Grab a block, we're gonna go into triangle. So when you look down, I want the ankles to line up or the heels of your feet between the front and the back heel to line up in one line. That's ideal because the right hip is open, left hip is closed. From that, you gain stability, ground. Left toes are turned in slightly, look down, make sure it's about 45 degrees turned in. These little snippets really do matter because what happens is repetitive injury happens in yoga a lot. Trust me, I've been doing this a long time. 25 years as a physical therapist, there's all kinds of injuries in our yoga class. So it's not about the shape you make, it's about honoring your body. It's about you reading into the receptiveness of your muscles and the joints and moving in alignment. That's super huge because something so small, so focal can become segmental, affecting the whole limb and then it becomes systemic, which means it affects the whole body. And when you turn on that immune system, inflammation rises, it becomes a systemic issue. You don't want that doing yoga. So catch your breath when you can, align yourself, listen to my cues. This is triangle on the right side. Rooting down through the right foot, tap. Root down through the left foot, tap. Okay, root down so there should be, when you close your eyes, even amount of weight. Pull the navel to the spine, almost like you're gonna tuck your tailbone under. That's gonna engage the lower part of your abdomen below your solar plexus, right at the navel. Extend your arms long. I have the block in my right hand. We're gonna reach. Instead of sinking into this hip, we're gonna stay long and reach down. And the floor is gonna be really hard to reach. That's why I have the block, okay? And from here, I have the block Pressing down, ideally on the palm of my hand, and then I'm gonna take my right hip forward, left hip back, which allows me to open up my thoracic spine. And I'm keeping my right torso, right side of my waistline long into a nice, perfect triangle, gazing up. There's no tension in the shoulders. There's none of this going on. I'm very mindful of plugging my shoulders down towards my pelvis, looking up closing my hands to close in my bandha through the ends of my fingers, reaching long, pressing down through the right hand allows for this thoracic rotation. 
and inhale, grab that block. Stay long, root down through the right foot and come up and take your breath. Right foot in, look down, make sure pivoting on the heels. Switch the hand to the left side, reach long from the sternum out. Root down, close your eyes, make sure right foot, left foot, even amount of weight. You're straight up, tuck your tailbone slightly, that's gonna activate and keep your integrity of your lower abdominals contracted, activated. Reach long, not sinking in, so watch yourselves. Right hip is opening, left hip is closed, okay? Or right hip is really closed because it's internally rotated. Left hip is open, but we're gonna come down and we're not just loosey-goosey with the arm, I'm pressing down, reaching up and then opening up, reaching up with my right hand, taking my right hip back, left hip forward, while pressing firmly through the heels of my left foot and the back heel of my right foot. Lift, inhale, exhale. Notice my shoulders, pull them down away from your ears. Be mindful through the practice of yoga. The nuanced practice takes you so much. This is a long game. It's a work in, not a workout, as they say. And then from here, we're gonna take it forward, leave the blocks to the side, and bring your hands on either side of the right foot. Take the right foot back, shift it forward, lower down slow. Push down to lift. Tuck, lift, downward dog. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Bend your knees a lot. Gaze forward, right foot forward, and left. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root down to lift. Bring your hands to heart center. Very good. We're gonna open it out wide, keeping the right foot turned so that it's parallel to the side edge of the mat. Back foot is turned in, it's wider. This is deep side angle right here or really warrior two. We're gonna go into the deep side angle, stretch, but here's warrior two. So here, when you look in the mirror, a lot of us are hyper arched in the back, tuck your tailbone slightly. It's so slight, but you have to maintain the integrity and the alignment of the right knee right over the right ankle. Right hip is open, left hip is closed, internally rotated on the left hip, open, externally rotated on the right hip bent knee, which means the knee needs to be centered and aligned with the ankle. A lot of you kind of do this. We're sort of crooked. So I want you to root down and reach. Bring your left hand on the inside of the right thigh. I'm sorry, right hand on the inside. I was right. Left hand on the inside of the right thigh. Lift up. Reverse warrior, but you're keeping the right shoulder back keeping the positioning both sides of your torso long lifting and then bring your right elbow on top of the right knee but when you do you want to bend into that knee more and then i like to have my students lift their toes to activate their inner arch from here you're not dumping the weight on here you can even stay here without putting any weight really kicks in the inner thigh here and the hamstrings and the quads on the right side lift up and look up towards your fingertips and come down. Lower the left knee, lift up, keeping the ankle right underneath the knee and bring your hands at heart center. Left elbow on the outside of the right knee, positioning the right hip back, left hip forward, squaring, pushing down, pushing the left elbow into the right knee the right knee is pushing into the left elbow to create this thoracic rotation. Opening up the autonomic nervous system, perfect alignment, and when you shift back into the runner's lunge, when you look in the mirror, you're gonna always, almost always, shift your hips to the left. I want you to shift it back right, dig and really plant the right heel down, keep the toes up, deep breath in, and deep breath out and plug forward, place the right foot down, hands on either side of the right foot, lift, press back, shift down, push up, tuck and push back, downward dog. Deep breath in and deep breath out. 
Step the right foot forward, left foot forward. Inhale, lift, exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up. Bring your hands to heart center. This time, step it out with the left, but turn the right toes in, left toe parallel to the side edge of the mat into warrior two. So here's where I don't want you to sink. I want your spine to be perpendicular to your pelvis. As you bend the left knee, make sure that the knee is aligned with the second toe, right? Sometimes the knee goes in or way out. I want it right over the ankle. I want a 90 degree bend. It's closed on the left, open on the left hip, okay? We're gonna plug down and reach. You're gonna bring the right hand back towards the left inner thigh. Lift up, root down and bend and gaze up. Deep breath in, taking the shoulder back, lifting up, plugging the navel to the spine, lifting, breathe. Bend the left elbow as you exhale. Gently place it down, and as you do that, don't stay up. Really root down and energize the left thigh. Lift up and reach, gazing towards the right fingertips. Lower your hips. A lot of you stay up here. I want this low really activating the left thigh to support you. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Hands on either side, lower the right knee. From there, really root down through the left foot, just as we did on the other side, lift up. Hands to heart center, shift to the left, plug the elbow on the outside of the left knee. You're pushing into the left knee, left knee is pushing into the right elbow and twist, deep breath in and deep breath out. And come back, face forward, hands on either side of the left foot. Hinge it back nice and slow, keeping your pelvis nice and square. Deep breath in, toes up. Deep breath in and exhale. Deep breath in and exhale. Deep breath in and exhale. Come back. Hands flat, left foot back, lower those knees, shift your hips back, forehead down, deep in breath and deep out breath as you reach your hands forward, really stretching the hips down and away from the hands, sinking your hips away and gently come up and find yourselves on your sit bones, sitting up nice and tall. So extend the right leg out, keep the left heel in, sitting up nice and tall. Rotate gently over, making sure that you're staying positionally perpendicular to your pelvic bowl. Right hand on the inside of the uh, right ankle. Extend the left arm up, root down through the left hip. And as you find your center, then and only then do you bend into the right elbow or not but you're reaching longer, but it's not just reaching, you're rooting down through the right elbow, but really rooting down through the left hip. You're gonna stretch this QL, quadratus lumborum. It's a sticky little muscle that wraps from the back, lumbar spine, all the way towards the front. Gives us a lot of headaches. Those of you who have low back issues, this might be one that gets sprained a lot. Come up and remember, yoga can be just as injurious, causing inflammation if not done correctly is why we want to make sure you're very aligned throughout the practice. Rotate to the right. There's a certain way human bodies are designed to move. It's kinematics, it's physics, but it's also bone integrity. And it's the way we have locomotion, the way we develop, right? And a lot of us have imbalances and dysregulated nervous systems that keep us from regulation. So we have a lot of inflammation as it is. And so if you're having pain and you found yoga, this might be something you wanna really listen to and lean into. Rooting down through the right hip, as much as you're rooting down, then and only then you have the ability to reach up. Deep breath in, deep breath out, gazing up and come all the way back, sitting nice and tall. And keep your legs loosely crossed, coming into Sukhasana as we end this practice. I just wanna say you did a great job. 
No matter where you are in your yoga journey, it's all about fine tune, engagement, activation, but most importantly, practicing with awareness and alignment of your body. It's you learning to operate this miraculous inherent energy and power that you possess. Thank you so much for allowing me to lead you. Follow me for more. DM me if this helped you a lot. I would love to hear from you. Namaste.